Hey YouTubers, this is Carter. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to do a video on the motorhome. It's an 85 Toyota. So let me go ahead and I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, just quickly, I want to just show you the roof. Uh, rebuilt this. And uh, used the product I like to call bitchathane uh, because it was a bitch to put on. Uh, this is my stack. I take this off, connect another one uh, for a better draw whenever I'm not driving. So there's that. Custom bumper. Boom. It's a rack. You can haul stuff on it. This is where I keep my wood stove stuff. It's awesome. Alright, why don't we uh, go into the camper, shall we? Always got to take off your shoes. Got my handicap handle, got it out of an old uh, bathroom handicap stall. So, helps me get in. All right, welcome. Start with the kitchen. Got a four burner range oven. Works perfect for pizzas, man. Can't beat it. Get you a good DiGiorno, man, not delivery. Custom cabinets, handles, redid that fan lights pictures of my beautiful family and my dog Zeus miss those guys uh, here's the sink dual sink water runs I just don't have it turned on because of freezing temperatures here is the closet also known as the gear shed for me keep my tools my boots trash uh, it actually has a shower and sink and a toilet but I got access to all that, so I use it for storage. Uh, this is the refrigerator. It's a uh, three-way uh, AC, DC, or propane. Uh, right now, I'm connected to shore power. Uh, keeps my beer cold, keeps my food cold. Too cold sometimes, you gotta watch out for that. This is my little, I don't know, battery checker thing. Got my uh, switches for my holding tanks for my water and my access to my my water pump, as well as a battery condition uh, button. I can check and see we're running at a good level right now. Smoke detector, gotta have it if you got a wood stove. Speakers. This couch actually folds into a bed, which is pretty snazzy. All right, uh, I guess. I'll start off with the table. I just built this table. Works real good. Raise it up, take the leg out, hooks in, makes a, a curtain. Uh, it's just an old road sign that I brushed. Uh, works really good. Bought this little chair. I'm actually gonna take a seat because I'm tired. Talk to you. Um, so this works good. I redid the floor. Here you can see the floor. Uh, it's just your basic uh, laminate, really easy to do. I just use minimal tools. Uh, this is the wood stove. It's actually a Colorado cylinder stove. You can see right there, you got your damper and your load up some wood in there, maybe show you guys a fire. It comes with the water tank, a uh, little spigot right there, also a Removable plate for simmering food uh, comes with a damper. This is actually a different stovepipe. It came with galvanized. I didn't want to run that in here. Burn indicator, eight inch metal bestus. Uh, the four inch goes right through that. Uh, works really good. These are also old recycled road signs that I just brushed. Uh, they have two inch backing with copper tubing. This is where the fan is gonna go later. Uh, keep my wood and stuff, fire fire gear there. Um, keep all my paperwork. My water tank is actually underneath this. So uh, that's this is removable as well, so I can get to that. Uh, I ran wires um, up through. Um, it's already an access door, so I just ran the wires up. Made kind of a little custom copper uh, junction box 
800 watt inverter works good for the computer um, yeah, I'll show you the uh, the cab kept her kept her all original 85 shag baby this is how the whole RV looked and it was ugly and dark so we ripped that out it's a four-speed automatic 22 RE a bit underpowered needless to say but she gets me around uh, the bed man it works real good I just rebuilt it it's a uh, three quarter inch birch which is very pricey up here in Alaska but it's good stuff very very solid uh, also tied it in with um, angled steel so it's locked in um, put insulation underneath keep you keep you nice and uh, warm resealed all the windows um, putting in LED lights uh, I can go from uh, about 12 watts per light to uh, around 2.5 I think per light and there's uh, I think roughly like 16 or 18 lights in the whole thing so that'll cut down on my uh, on my energy draw I'm gonna be putting some solar panels up on the top and uh, gonna be trying to get off the grid and record an album here in my little personal RV studio I guess you could say if you guys got any questions or anything like that on uh, the process for restoring a motorhome uh, hit the link I guess if I don't know this is my first video so um, hit the link if I put one on there and I will try to answer any questions or anything like that thanks for watching